Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Saturday, coming at you with 2013 Panini Select Football. Four box, random division break number one. This is the first year they did Select Football. It's pretty crazy. Four autographs, some prisms, some rookies in the box. That's pretty nice. So big thanks to Gail, Joseph, Tim, and Nick for getting in on the action. There are the divisions right there. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Three and a three, hard six. Six times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, we got Tim down to Gale. Three and a three, six times for the divisions. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, we got the NFC North down to the AFC South. Now keep your 2013 draft class in mind. In fact, I'm going to show you that in a second because I need to refresh my memory. Tim Tyler with the NFC North. Nick with the AFC East. Joseph, AFC West, NFC South, NFC East. Nick with the AFC North. Joseph with the NFC West. And Gail with the AFC South. So let's sort by... But I'm sure there's like active players, now retired players, Hall of Fame players that could be in any of these teams. So keep that in mind. Um... Let's flip over here to 2013 NFL Draft. So this would be, thanks Wikipedia, this would be the... Oh, a lot of defense, a lot, lot of uh, linemen here. Tavon Austin was your first wide receiver, your skill position guy taken. Some Sheldon Richardson, Eric Reed, Tyler Eifert in the mix. DeAndre Hopkins, there you go. Cordell Patterson, Zach Ertz, Darius Slay, Le'Veon Bell, Eddie Lacy, Kelsey, Travis Kelsey, Keenan Allen, Jordan Reed. And if Jordan Reed didn't have all those concussion issues, he would have been incredible. So there you go. Juszczyk as a Raven. Yeah, it's not bad. Latavius Murray even. There you go. So there you have it. So just keep that in mind. And it's the first year select. I'm sure, sure it gets a little bit of bump because of that as well. Now, while you're considering trades, let's pop open this fresh case that we're talking about here and let's see which, uh, you want a four box break? Yes, let's see which four boxes we're gonna do. This is heavy. Some paper right here. All right, there we go. So let's just make stacks of three. There's three right there, or no, four, that is. Let's just pull this, those two stacks right there. So there's four, four, and four. Let's uh, roll the die, select a die, select that one right there. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, right, on the dice roll. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the side we're going to do right there. And these guys will save for next time. this then. So we'll put the these orange X's right there. So you need so you know these are all from the same case. It's right here. I knew I had a Sharpie. It's right there. It doesn't matter. Alright, <laughs> any divisions? I don't know where where all of my writing utensils are. I'm losing them. Looks like no trade, so Division trades are pretty rare, I think. All right, TWC trade window closed. Uh, 
All right, so we got Andrew Luck on the front. There's everybody right here. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. So this was back when Select was in these two little mini boxes. You didn't get the break credit that you won. I'm going to do that right now. That's important, Logan, because we need breaks to fill. I sent it. I see it. It went to your Gmail. Resend. It has been resent. How's that? Oh, it was for Optic Baseball. Good luck. If you're feeling spicy, Logan, you can put that break credit towards the promo tonight and win more break credit with your break credit. How awesome would that be? everybody uh, let me actually drop that draft class link into the chat there you go Nice blast from the past. Look at this. RG3. Christian Ponder. LaShawn McCoy. Hot Stars. Drew Brees. And a silver Robert Alford. That is for the Falcons. That'll be for the NFC South. It'll be for Joseph Barton. And we've got our first rookie auto for the NFC East. That'll be for Joseph Barton, and that's uh, David Amerson. 327 out of 4.99. Justin Hunter was an intriguing player. There's Brady. And there's a silver Eli Manning. Guy that beats Brady. <laughs> All right, NFC East and AFC East. AFC East, uh, Nick Stover with the Brady. NFC East, Joseph with the uh, Silver Eli. Where does this guy go? Russell Wilson. Does he get traded? And we got a redemption, which is probably expired, but I would I would give Panini a shout and see if uh, see if they'll do anything for you for this guy. For Terrence Williams, rookie jersey autograph. So I think has to be a cowboy, I think. Just had that NFL draft page open. Yes, a Dallas Cowboy out of Baylor. Third round pick. Panini might get you some points in return. There was someone who said they stopped doing it, and then someone came back and said they, they are doing it. So, I don't know. I would check either way. Don't just let this sit. You might get some points back in return. Uh, NFC East. Joseph. Alex Smith is released. Where does he end up? Is 
There's DJ Hayden, old Raider, AFC West Joseph. And we got BJ Daniels, 227 out of 499. Seahawks edition. Looks like he was traded to the Seahawks there. NFC West Joseph. CJ Spiller. Let's find a I want to find let's find a Hopkins here. Mike James to 199 for the NFC South. That'll be for Joseph as well. Mike James Buccaneers rookie auto. Tyler Efford's pretty solid, right? There's the, there's the one for the AFC North, Nick Stober. All right, second box. In case you're wondering, I was wondering the same thing. What happened in the 2013 AFC or uh, the 2013 NFL season? That was when the Broncos. Oh, it was the Broncos Seahawks. Super Bowl that year. This is where the Seahawks beat the Broncos 43-8. to It was the, it was, it was at MetLife Stadium. And it was the first Super Bowl hosted by New Jersey. And the first to be held outdoors in a cold weather environment. Peyton Manning was the MVP back in 2013. By the Associated Press. Manning was also named Offensive Player of the Year for the second time in his career. Carolina Panthers uh, linebacker Luke Keekley earned Defensive Player of the Year honors. Apparently in 2013, scoring reached historic levels. Throughout the league, the whole league set records for total points scored, points scored per game, number of both touchdowns and field goals scored. The Broncos set a new standard for team scoring in the regular season with 606 points. In addition to the Broncos, 10 other teams scored over 400 points, the greatest number of teams to surpass that benchmark in a single year. There you go. That that's that was that was seven years ago, folks. Eight years ago. I guess the Super Bowl is about seven years ago. Seven eight seven eight years ago, basically. All right. Next box. Second box. We've got Jasper Collins, rookie silver for the Browns. He was traded to the Browns. AFC North, Nick Stover. Our autograph is Ezekiel Ansah, 140 out of 499. NFC North, Tim Tyler. Got the Lions with overhauled their coaching staff, new quarterback. Let's see how they do this year. There's some rookie Matt Barkley. And hot stars, Peyton Manning, silver for the AFC West, Joseph. That's 16 out of 25. What a, what a season he had in 2013. In fact, uh, Manning tied a lead record throwing seven touchdown passes and led the Broncos to a 49-27 win in their, in their week one game in 2013. Crazy. We got Niall Davis, 33 out of 99, jersey, rookie jersey and autograph. He kind of has that Kyrie Irving K in the, in the autograph. 33 out of 99, AFC West Joseph. We got a couple nice hot rookies here. 
For the NFC East, Joseph Barton, Zach Ertz. Nice. Probably drafted almost eight years ago. Putting together a really nice career. So is this guy. Hot rookies, DeAndre Hopkins, AFC South Gale. So different color parallels, pretty nice rookies. There's Travis Kelsey. So here's the Travis Kelsey AFC West, Joseph Barton. He's carving out a nice career. Wow. Ertz and Kel Travis Kelsey in the same, same draft year. There's Stedman Bailey and Michael Cox to 499, 488 out of 499. New York Football Giants, Big Blue, getting the Cox, NFC East, Joe Barton. Didn't Stedman Bailey, wasn't he the one that got shot in the head? But, like, live to tell the tale? I feel like we always go through this every time we do 2013 stuff. Yeah. That's crazy. Unknown assailants. He was, he was just sitting in his car with three of his family members in Miami Gardens, Florida. The unknown assailants pulled up alongside them and opened fire before driving off. He survived two gunshot wounds to the head. It was in critical but stable condition while the cousin, the driver of the vehicle, sustained life-threatening injuries. Stedman Bailey, this guy. I don't know if you remember this guy from back in the day, but 2013, got shot in the head. Oh my goodness. And he was like, there's a little dirt in that penny sleeve. He was kind of good, but it pretty much ended his career. I think, I, think he's, I think he's coaching now. That's crazy, he survived? Yeah. Wow. He was kind of, I want to say he was kind of good. I think... As well. Ah, anyway. He had some upside, but that kind of cut, cut everything short for him. Careful out there, people. Where does Ertz end up? Is he, is he being... Is he a free agent? Are they looking to trade him? And there's Jamar Taylor for the Dolphins. Rookie autograph of the AFC East next over. All right, another two boxes to go. Got about another 15 minutes in this break and then we'll go to uh, the next one. Schedule's in the chat, folks, if you're wondering when your break is coming up. We did post another four boxes of this um, select football. We can run this back tonight if you want to. Oh, he's going to be cut or traded, huh? Interesting. They're going to move on from Zach Ertz, huh? See you, Jackie. Well, I feel like there's a lot of teams that could use a, a Zach Ertz. Oh, couldn't couldn't the don't the Colts have a new quarterback that has some familiarity with Zach Ertz? Yeah, they need to save money on the cap hit. He wants an extension. 
Gotcha. But yeah, maybe a little injury prone, but worth the risk on a lot of teams. Yeah, a lot of teams could use a use a Zach Ertz. Let's get let's get let's get Deshaun Watson on the New York Jets and send Zach Ertz up there too. Good good duo. Among other what gives gives Deshaun Watson some weapons. It's Corderell Patterson, rookie silver. He's he's carved out a pretty nice he's bounced around a little bit, but carved out a pretty nice career. Get that pension, Corderell Patterson. Uh, Derek Rogers, 13 out of 99 for the Blue Horseshoes. That'll be for the AFC East, Nick Stover. Wes Welker. There's Justin Hunter, Terrence Williams. And Marlon Brown for the Purple Birds. Rookie autograph for the AFC North, Nick Stover. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Eagles do have Dallas Goddard. So he could be he could be the future of that tight end spot. So they can let Ertz go, save a little money, start the rebuild with the new coach. All right, I can see it. There's Nick Casa, rookie silver. <laughs> I have vague memories of this guy. And then we have Cornelius Caradine to 199. Niners autograph, NFC West, Joseph. Yeah, oh, Nick, you're, you're a Jets guy. You like that? You like that idea? I mean, I feel like they have assets and cap space, right? So yeah, trade for Deshaun Watson, send Sam Darnold the other way. Although I don't, I don't think he got a good, a fair shake last year. But still, when you have a chance to get Deshaun Watson, you know, make that make that deal. Put some weapons around him. Draft offensive line. Boom, done. Right? Yeah. Mims, Denzel Mims is great. You get Fuller, sign Fuller, sign Ertz. You know, and then all you're doing is drafting offensive line at this point with like your second, third round picks. You know, we can find a lot of value there. Boom. We got Keenan Allen. Oh, man. San Diego Chargers. Of course, this will go to the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, again, this is expired, but I'm hoping that uh, Panini will kind of do something for you and uh, Joseph Arden for the AFC West. All right, here is the next box. Yeah, that hockey is awfully close, too. Let's get that done. Just a few number block spots away. Schedule's in the chat, folks, so be sure to check that out to see. I actually don't. I, I need that, too. I don't even know what's, what's going on after that. Last box here, 2013, select football, random division break number one. The second uh, division is in the store right now. Another four boxes in the store.
Jens, what's up? You may, yeah, you remember Eric Cantona doing that kick on the fan? Classic. What do car companies do with the redemption cards that are never redeemed? I don't know. <laughs> They're probably given away in like... I actually have no idea. Maybe they still stay in the vault forever. Maybe they're given away. I don't know. Maybe they end up in future, like like a buyback product or something like that. There's another redemption. There's DJ Fluker, AFC West. The redemption is, is Ontario McCaleb? I do not remember this guy at all. Bengals. I think he went to the AFC North. Apparently, apparently, uh, he, he garnered much attention with an impressive 40-yard dash at the 2013 NFL Combine, recording an official time of 4.28 seconds, the fastest by a running back. Wow. All right, Nick Stover with the speedy... Ontario. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're just they're just sitting there marinating in some sort of vault. Maybe they'll repackage it into a future product or something, I don't know. Eighty one out of four ninety nine. Ryan Spadola. LT. We got Rex Burkhead, Bengals. Rex Burkhead, rookie silver, going to the AFC North Nick Stover. And we got Rex Burkhead's autograph. Yep, there it is. Nick Stover, AFC North, last spot mojo. Nice, Jason Pierre-Paul. We've got Dion Jordan, rookie jersey and autograph for the Dolphins, AFC East. It's also for Nick. We got Giovanni Bernard, hot rookies, and the last bits here. We're going to see Sam Montgomery and Des Bryant at the very end. And there you go. Four boxes, random division one, 2013. Select football in the books, blast from the past. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.